This video will help determine if your extrusion meets standard industry straightness tolerances using aluminum standards and data. Straightness tolerances limit the amount of curvature or bow in the extrusion. A simple way to visualize a deviation in straightness is to picture elbow macaroni. There are different tables for different product forms such as pipe, tube, extruded or cold finished rod. So you'll need to know more about the product to determine what table applies. Different products have different straightness tolerance limits. However, all tables use the same methods to measure straightness and determine applicable straightness tolerances. The tables contain straightness tolerances expressed in a per foot basis that can apply over the full length as well as shorter distances. There are also important footnotes for each table. Two common ones are that straightness tolerances apply when the weight of the piece resting on a flat surface minimizes bow or the amount of curvature. And straightness must be met in all orientations, including those that are not freestanding or self-supporting. For example, a rod or tube may need to be propped up to hold the orientation for measuring purposes. We will now check the straightness on an extruded rod and use table 11.6 to determine the applicable straightness tolerance. This table presents a more detailed breakdown of product types, tempers, diameters, width or circumscribing circle size and specified thicknesses, but it still follows the same basic approach. For a given extrusion, its specifications are matched under each category until you are led across the table to the appropriate tolerance in the far right column. For this 0.562 inch diameter extruded rod that is 12 feet long in 6061-T6511 alloy temper, the allowable straightness tolerance is found to be 12 and a half thousandths per foot. We'll first roll the rod to see if it wobbles and help locate the region where the most amount of bow is present. The 0.562 inch rod is oriented on the flat granite table surface, so the largest gap is positioned between the flat surface and the rod. It is also positioned so the weight of the piece minimizes the amount of bow per footnote 3. We will need to support the rod in this case to measure the gap as noted in footnote 9. Now to actually measure the rod, we will need a feeler gauge. We'll take the feeler gauge and insert it into the gap and find it measures 24 thousandths of an inch. To calculate the allowable straightness over the full 12 foot length, Multiply 12 and a half one thousandths of an inch by 12 foot to get 150 thousandths of an inch. In this case, the bow happens to be closer to one end of the length, so a shorter span will be used to verify straightness. We find the gap is present over a two foot distance. To determine the maximum allowable straightness tolerance, multiply 12 and a half thousandths per foot by two foot to get 25 thousandths of an inch. The 24 thousandths of an inch measured gap is within total length tolerance of 150 thousandths of an inch, as well as within the allowable 25 thousandths of an inch straightness tolerance over a shorter two foot distance. There are important footnotes for each table that may or may not apply to your extrusion, depending on the geometry of the profile or certain alloy temper conditions. Get your copy of Aluminum Standards and Data, which contains the tables covered in this video, from the Aluminum Association's bookstore. It is available in U.S. or metric units. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and engage us on social media. Thanks for watching.